I'm Allie again, and welcome to the second tutorial on clone cloth in a series that I will be producing. In our first tutorial, you learned how to organize your clone cloth templates for easy access when applying outfits. Now you are ready to dress your models and outfits purchased from either Real Illusion directly or from third party stores. When you purchase CCD clothing packs directly from Real Illusion, Real Illusion installs these materials into your default templates directory, which is located in the following path on Windows XP. I'll also show the path for Vista and Windows 7. When you purchase from third party store, these templates are generally contained in a zip file which you can save anywhere on your hard drive. I personally create a folder specifically for these textures, which I simply call G3 Clone Cloth. I suggest you have a sort of central place to keep any purchased clothing materials. Either way, you must first prepare your base character inside iClone to apply the textures. And this is why taking the time to organize your cloth templates into uppers and lowers, as we did in the first tutorial, makes your life a lot easier now that you are ready to dress your models. Okay, let's take a look at some outfits that utilize the mixing and matching of clone cloth templates. Here we have an outfit that consists of violet boot cut lower, violet gown upper, and if we look inside the shoe file to see what template was used, it's the violet high heel. So now we can just open uh, any version of violet really, and then uh, we'll go to upper body and we'll select the um, gown upper template, which we have easy to get at because we did this in tutorial one. And then we'll go to lower and we'll add the boot cut lower template. And then lastly, we'll go to shoes and we'll add the violet high heel template. So now you have your um, model ready to be dressed. So we now can navigate to the folder where our material files are. So we'll select the upper material file. Then we simply navigate to the lower one. And we just have to add the shoes. I'm just going to change the shadow to a self-cast shadow. So we'll just take a look at another outfit and we'll do the same thing. Okay, in this case we're using the casual lower and the overcoat upper and the sporty shoe. So once again we'll apply the correct base clone cloth, upper and lower, and shoe so that our model is easy to dress. So we're applying the casual lower. And the overcoat upper. And the sporty shoe. So now we can apply our purchase templates or our purchase material files. So 
So that's the overcoat upper. The casual lower. And the sporty shoe. And we'll do one more character. We'll do a male this time. So nobody thinks we're just doing females. So we'll find an outfit for male. And this one will be the overcoat 01 upper, the fit lower, and the career shoe. And actually this is a good one because there's a skin texture to apply as well. So we'll start with the upper and we'll apply the overcoat 01 template. And then for the lower, we'll apply the fit template. And we'll add the career shoe. Okay, so now we'll just dress our character by navigating to our, again, our purchased iMaterial files. So we add the Overcoat 01 upper. We add the Fit lower. The Career shoe. And we have a skin texture to add, so we'll go to the Skin tab. And then from the drop down menu, we want to make sure we've selected upper. And then load material. And we'll go to the file with the skin texture. And now our model has a bit of a hairy chest. Sometimes skin textures are not provided as iMaterial files, sometimes they're provided as uh, JPEGs, in which case then you would. Uh, Select the diffuse, then uh, click on the folder icon and navigate to the correct file where the JPEG for that skin texture is filed. So that's it for this tutorial and uh, we'll do another one real soon. Thanks for listening.